found the Bulls game on Friday. Oh yeah, that should be, yeah. that should be, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one's sad for you, but but for Josh Giddy, okay. The whole thing, I think so. If you looked at Josh Giddy's to start this for the season, like before this little run, you were like, oh, Josh Giddy's having the same exact season as he was having last year. And yeah, he basically was, but I think he had hit the uh, sophomore wall. He had a sophomore slump to start the season. But then the last month, like since Christmas till now, Josh Giddy can't be stopped. Not only the passing, the rebounding, the three point shots falling. I think over the last 10 games, he's an 18 point, seven for seven, two steals a night, like ridiculous stout line. And any questions of Shea and Josh Giddy not being able to coexist because they're both ball dominant are gone because having Josh Giddy there allows you to play Shea off ball. But now Josh having a shot allows Josh to play off ball of Shea. And just imagine this lineup when check comes back because now you have josh giddy shay lou dort all right like and then j dub jalen williams because people forget jalen williams was a point guard who grew to six six what is your thoughts on josh giddy i mean yeah giddy up he's he's dropped 20 points in three straight games they took down Brooklyn last night, and then that they was took down the Bulls, and then they I know took it was down Kendra. Philly, and then they lost one point to or to uh, Miami. So they're on a three-game win streak, and yeah, they're. I mean, they have to be one or two games below five hundred. And Josh Giddy's got three straight twenty pointers, so he's having a great year. In general, he's a really good basketball player. He was very annoying. Dropped like twenty-five on my head Friday night. I mean, I, I just – I don't even know. I know DeMar was out, but I, I, I couldn't believe what I was watching. I, I think Shea only had, like, only 21 points, and it was crazy. I don't know. We lost. We were down, like, 18 when I got to my friend's house. So, so yeah. All right. I guess the Thunder are legit. Good for them. Good for Giddy. Okay. So, at this point, do you think this is a team that should be trying to make it to the playoffs? Is this a playoff team or is this a playing team? Well, I think they're a playing team, but yeah, the I think the mindset should always be to win. You want to establish that culture, and I think they'll fall just short, just because I mean the West is loaded. If they were in the East, we'd probably have a different conversation. But the West is so loaded. I want to see what their record would be in the East. Okay, You'd, they'd be top ten. Uh, right now, they are currently what is it like twenty and twenty three. They are, I'm blanking on this. The Thunder are 21 and 23. 21 and 23. They would be right now between the eighth and ninth seed. Yeah. So, yeah, you're right. They would be, they would be firmly in the hunt. And I mean, right now they're technically only one game away from the 10th spot. And this is where it gets interesting because the West right now. The Thunder are technically one spot away from the eighth seed, but also one spot away from the tenth seed. That's weird, right? Yeah. Like, like, look at this. Like, the Thunder are right here. They very well. I mean, clearly they do not play their conference well. For audio listeners, can you tell me who number eleven is? The Suns are. <laughs> the Suns are the 11th seed at 21 and 23, and then the the Lakers are the 13th seed. So it's definitely going to be interesting to see how that all plays out. But obviously, Josh Giddy is a huge part for this. But do you think this team's going to still blow it up at some point? There, there isn't really anything to blow it up. Well, not blow it up. Blow it up. Sorry, sorry. Sit it down. I forgot. They don't because the uh, Thunder oh. don't blow stuff up, but you, they sit people. Like, will we'll Shea, will Josh, I don't know if Josh will, but do you think Shea or one of the other guys will suffer a mysterious hamstring injury? Uh, I don't have reason they said, to believe they'll do that anytime cause, soon. Because it's been said that they don't want to be a play-in team. Like, that's their big thing is that, like, they they rather continue tanking than being a play-in team. So, they yeah. said... A year in the summer, Sam Presti said, if we're still tank, if we're a playing team, like if we get to the trade deadline and we're a playing team, then we're going to reverse course and 
develop uh, youth was what they said. Uh, but if we're firmly in the playoff hunt, then we won't. So my assumption is, and he didn't say playing term. He said games that mattered is the way he said it. If the by the trade deadline, there's still games that mattered, which people are like probably means better than a playing seed. You know, they're, they're doing that right now. Their only veteran on the team is Mike Muscala. So I don't. I you, think that's you mean hot Carl, air. You mean the white car, Anthony Towns? Yeah, I, I think that's hot air. I think if if the Oklahoma City Thunder have the ability to play in the tournament i think they'll do that that's that's good experience for these young guys imagine Ooh, if they're going become the number one team in the west next season these guys would be like Ooh, we've never been here before let's go choke it up yeah i think when you look at a at but ah oh, dude it's so hard to think at this point there's because you only get a 14 percent chance if you get the first overall pick it's a horrible it, measly chance I know, and at this point, I want the Hornets or the Spurs to win. You? Like the lottery. The Hornets. The Horn- Dude, I'll match the Chicago Bulls to win. No, LaMelo Ball with Vic, or would you rather have, like, Greg Pop? LaMelo Ball, Vic? DeMar DeRozan, Zach Levine, Nikola Vucevic. Okay, you're just – you're just that's like me. Okay, I want the Washington Wizards. To get, I, want the, I want the Orlando Magic. I want the uh, – Yeah, definitely. No, I want the Charlotte Hornets over the – No, Houston okay, a team that isn't Lovey your Lovey team. That, a team that isn't your team. <laughs> Well, I just want the record to show I, I want Bulls, then Rockets to get the number one seed. But if I had to venture outside of that, I'd probably go just the Spurs. Homers. Spurs, yeah. Wouldn't it be cool yeah. to have Greg Popovich with Vic? Like, just give Greg just one more Hall of Fame player to give it. Yeah, just one. Uh, Bruno, you heard that comment? I said the white Carl Anthony Towns. When you were talking about Mike Muscala, I was like, oh, they have the white Carl Anthony Towns? That's disrespectful to Mike Muscala. <laughs> <laughs> 